identity must be one of the most controversial and delicate matters to discuss nowadays. As identity itself, everyone has a different conception of it, a different attitude towards it. However, I've come to realize we all agree identity is of great importance and it rules our daily lives. Identity determines what I do. Identity determines how I react to the world. Identity determines how I see myself as, obviously, and identity determines how others see me. So if I tell you that I'm Colombian, for example, this small machinery inside your head starts working, and quite fast, really, in order to add to this mental document you have about me. She is Colombian. And it makes sense, right? Who I am and who I act as determines how others see me, identify me, and recognize me as a person, and don't confuse me with the one right next to me. But get this, I'm strongly convinced it works the other way around too. And what do I mean by this? That my actions, what I do, who I am, my identity is totally ruled, bounded, and limited by what others say. So if we go back to this resume you have about everyone you've ever met, it is totally fake news. And not fake news in the way that is lie, but rather more that they're not actually news at all, because we are just receiving the message we send others about themselves. It's a vicious cycle of miscommunication, and I told you I was Colombian not long ago, right? Well, if we're going to be honest with each other, that's not entirely true. And before I answer the question most of you must be thinking about, where do I come from? I want to ask you first, is my answer going to change how you see me? Is my identity going to change because of what I'm, I'm going to answer? Am I going to change? I was born and I was raised in Chile, and I lived a really long time in there too. I mean, long enough for a teenager anyways. And so I guess if you sum things up, I'm Chilean, right? I mean, you could call me Chilean. But what if we add to this equation, also living, caring, and considering home another country? I personally believe the answer is not being a traitor or nothing like that. but I actually think it's my identity is changing. So, well, all my family friends, all my childhood friends, all my family, all the street names I remember, they all lead back to Chile. So what makes me so reluctant after so many years of calling myself Chilean? And you know, it's not because we're not going to the World Cup. I mean, kind of, yeah. No, no, but real talk. I'm doubting after 15 years of not doing so in calling myself Chilean because that would immediately invalidate the possibility of calling myself Colombian. And, you know, let me highlight that I'm not precisely saying that I want and feel ready to call myself Colombian because I still think that I need to live so many years in here and learn so many things in order to do so. But Colombia is so a big part of my identity, is a big part of who I am right now. And I still think that I have the right to call myself Colombian, but, well, although I still need to learn the national anthem, although I still need to learn how to dance, although I have to visit so many places in this beautiful country, and although I have to, meet, have to live so many, so many other years in here, until that day comes, until that until the day comes that people see me as Colombian and until I see myself as Colombian, I will not call myself Chilean either because identity has become something exclusive, static, and something really similar to high school group project. And why I'm saying high school group project? Because you see, identity needs to be constructed with others. You cannot construct your identity by yourself. That's impossible. You need the help of others to construct your own identity. And in that case, identity is a group project. However, nowadays, 
identity is not working like that. It's working like a high school group project because where everyone is supposed to collaborate, but almost no one does so. And you know, that's so sad, given that I believe identity is the complete opposite. Nothing about exclusiveness. Identity is all about unlimited options. The more things you have to say about yourself, the better. Nothing about static. Identity is all about change and being able to improve and progress. And nothing about a high school group project. Identity is more like an athletics team. And why specifically an athletics team? Let me first tell you a really short story that I know many athletes around the world are going to agree with me. One of the things we get asked the most as athletes is, why don't you like team sports? Are you so individualistic you don't like engaging with others? I once even got told that I like the glory of the victory for myself, and that's why I don't play football or volleyball or stuff like that. But you know, people are really wrong because athletics, it's all about teamwork. Because if it weren't when I've been running for over an hour and I am tired and I'm exhausted and I want to finish, if it weren't because of my teammates, I would have never pushed myself and it would never improve. And because if it weren't because of my best friend, I would have never crossed the finish line so many times because he's shouting at me to push and to run faster. Chuck Palahniuk once wrote, nothing of me is original. I'm the combined effort of everyone I've ever known. Have you ever wondered how would you know some things about yourself if it weren't for others? How would you know you have a twitch in your mouth or you raise your eyebrows when you're surprised or that you get really excited when talking about that thing you like the most? For my part, I would have never known that I have, su that I have such a weird accent that sometimes it's really difficult to understand. But because I interact with others, I can know and I do. And you know, there's a really fun thing about identity, or not really fun, but the thing is that as the say goes, you should know yourself better than everyone else, right? But have you ever met yourself as you have met others? I mean, yeah, you have seen pictures, videos, you have heard voice notes, you have taken a glance at the mirror, I can look at my feet and if I try really hard, the tip of my nose, but I've never met myself like I've met you, right? And that's the fun thing about identity, that you need to construct it with others. Now, um, well, there I have met a lot of people in this school that want themselves to call, they want to call themselves Colombian. However, they are restricted. They cannot call themselves Colombian because or their physical appearance, or maybe because they look, they have come from somewhere else, or because their family ties leads them from another place of the world. And that can't really happen because your identity is about you, right? And well, I've been thinking about it, and well, you have heard of eat, sleep, train, repeat. So now get ready for receive, accept, express, repeat. And what I've seen through others and what I think of myself, this is what the four steps of constructing your identity with others looks like. So first, you have receive. You have to be open to the information that surrounds you. You have to pay attention about what others tell you. And you have to pay attention about how you react to things. Because the smallest detail can tell you the biggest things about yourself. Second, accept. Once you have all this information, you have to accept things. And by this, I do not mean that you have to accept everything everyone tells you. You have to accept that sometimes people are wrong and sometimes people are right. Accept that your mother knows you better than everyone else and accept that she's right by saying that you are a really lazy person. Or accept people are wrong and accept that your best friend is wrong by saying that you are a really proud person. Accept things. Third, express. Now you have all this information, you have deliberated, you know who you are, you have to express it. And this is the most important part. You have to show the world who you are. 
You have to react to the world who you are. You have to do the things that define who you are. See yourself as who you are and others will see you. Lastly, repeat. Because you can't expect to gain results if you go to the gym once a year, right? The same things happen here. You have to repeat. Repeat because practice makes perfect. Repeat because Rome wasn't built in a day. And now, before I finish, I want you to think one last time of my identity issue and not because I'm greedy or something like that. I want you to think of my identity issue because I believe it's the perfect metaphor to identity issues all around the world. Because it applies. Because when you're having an identity issue because of your career, your profession, gender, nationality, religion, culture, so many things, you have to deliberate. You first have to recognize there's a problem. Because if, there's, if there isn't a problem, there's nothing to fix. And because if you don't recognize you're playing a game, you can't never win. Thank you very much. <laughs>